Hey guys, taking a little break from the animatronic eyeball coating to give you a little blurb on some practical 3D printing that I just ran into today. Um, I find it interesting when I find things that people always ask me, what can you do with 3D printing that isn't printing Pikachus or all those other little gadgets and gizmos that you, you print off, um, baby Groots, things like that, which are fun, don't get me wrong, but where can we use it in the real world? Well, I ran into one today, I thought I'd share it with you. Uh, as you know, I'm selling my house, and when you get towards the end, they give you a big list of things that you need to fix on the house before you, they can buy the house from you. One of those things on the list was they wanted the windows in the house to stay up. So since I bought the house, some windows worked, some didn't. I never got around to fixing them because nothing beats just putting a good old stick in the window. Um, so I said, you know, I'm gonna see if I can fix this and figure this out. So. Uh, what you'll see in the video here, we, we filmed little parts of it. Um, I go and open up the, the window, pull out the window balances, and what I think you'll see is kind of interesting. The, what, normally what you do is you buy new window balances. Unfortunately, the company doesn't, that made the windows don't exist anymore. I can't find the window balances. They might make some custom ones, but could we fix it with 3D printing? Let's, let's take a look. The first thing you're going to see here is me pulling out the window balance. Now, if you don't know what a window balance is, basically your window weighs 50 pounds, 40 pounds, whatever. If in order to get it to stay up, you need something that holds with an equivalent amount of force pulling up so that the window doesn't fall down. <laughs> ah, gravity, thou art a heartless bitch. <laughs> what you'll see is me pulling out the window balance with just basically a giant spring and a pulley system to help hold the window up. The reason the window is falling down is because typically the clips are not attached anymore to the window because they're bound up. You lift the window up and the clips fall out and now the window just slides down because nothing is pulling it back up. So I'll show you now how I remove that. Go ahead and take these clips out like that. Your slider comes out and your window balance falls right out there. Now, I didn't have a video of this, but what was happening was you'd pull on the, the clip, so you'd pull the string and the spring expands, and normally what would happen is the spring would pull the block and tackle back and pull the string back up. What was happening was you'd pull on the string and it would bind up, it wouldn't, it wouldn't retract. And we originally when we looked at it, we thought maybe it just needs some grease in there to, to lube everything up, um, but that wasn't the case. We went and looked a little closer, and in the following picture, you should see the issue. As you can see from the picture, you have two different pulleys. The top one's still good, the bottom one you can see a crack. And because that's cracked, the string that ran through there would get caught in that crack. And that would cause it so that the string couldn't retract backwards. We need to replace that roller right there. How can we do that with 3D printing? So now that we discovered what the issue was, we had to get to those rollers. So in the next video, you'll see us disassembling the, the balance uh, by unloading the spring and by doing that, we could get to the to the broken rollers. These are vice grips. Grab the end of the spring. I'm gonna lift it over the bar. There you go. Now that we got the spring off, we were able to go into the pulley, take the pin out, and remove one of the rollers that was still good. Why did we do that? Because with the good roller, we could do some calipers and go into Fusion 360, and we could design a new roller in Fusion 360. Very simply, it's one sketch and a revolve. So we went and drew that up in Fusion 360 and then went and took it to the Lulzbot Mini to go print it out. Because this is a part that has a lot of load on it, one of the problems that the design had was that it was made with cheap plastic and they break easily. So I decided I need something with strong layer adhesion and something that's gonna last a good long time. So I printed these new bearings in nylon, bridge nylon. This was printed sliced with Simplify 3D uh, using a nylon setting that I created. It had a 0.15 layer height, a temperature of 245C, a bed temperature of 110C with glue stick because I'm on a PEI surface, a fan speed of 30% after the first layer, and a speed, uh, print speed of about 25 millimeters per second default print speed. One other thing I do with nylon is I put a big brim on all the parts especially if they're small parts because they don't have a lot of surface area stuck to the bed. 
uh, but also nylon is known to warp. So just as a general rule of thumb, I do recommend adding a nice brim on any part you print in nylon. Now that we have our nylon parts done, it's as simple as taking out the old broken part and putting in the nylon roller in replacement of it. So in the next videos, you'll see me replacing those and the final test to make sure things work. And there's your broken, oh, broken rollers. Used to be two, now there's four pieces in there. I'll take nylon, take these out. So now we have new nylon rollers to replace the old broken ones. Go in underneath, pop those in. Take your pin, Oop. slide that in. These ropes are the same way. Yes, there it goes. Put that pin in. And now you have a brand new pulley with nylon rollers, 3D printed. Right okay, so now we've replaced the top and bottom pulleys with nylon 3D printed rollers to replace all the broken ones with the cheap plastic they used. So now we're gonna take our balance spring, put that back on and then when we get back, we'll take this spring and hook it up over this bar and we will be done. There we are. Perfect. Let's test the pulley, make sure it floats freely. And we have no more binding because the rollers are now smooth and not cracked in half. 3D printing to the rescue. Stays up like it should. So there you go guys, just a little quick example of practical 3D printing. If you look at it, you can buy custom balances to try to replace these. You take pictures of them, send them to people and they make you custom ones. Um, I think they were something like $25 a piece, you gotta order six of them at a time if they're custom and it takes four to six weeks to make. Um, I think I used a couple grams of nylon, about 20 minutes to print 12 of them. and replaced them all and had everything working for probably under 50 cents. So a 50 cent solution versus easily over a hundred dollars to get it, get it fixed because of a bad design. And that new design is probably gonna have the same rollers in it too and they're probably going to fail. So in this case, 3D printing was a much more cost effective and time effective way to get a solution to the problem. One final thing, you may notice an extra set of hands in the video. My uncle was nice enough to come over and help me with this project. It's always good to have extra hands when you're pulling giant springs and whatnot. And he also took the time to sketch up the roller for this project. It was uh, He did a very good job on that and just wanted to thank him for his help. Hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe below if you haven't for more videos like this. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something and maybe get your juices flowing on other ways you can use practical 3D printing to help you fix things around the home.